Jerry, you want to practice bracketing? Come on, Jerry, the sun's rising. You got to get up. Okay, so we're going to try and practice some bracketing, uh, exposure bracketing, some of the other bracketings as well, like ISO, and there's one flash, and the other one is there's, there's focus bracketing as well. So, classic one for exposure bracketing would be sunrises like this and sunsets. Uh, anywhere where there's a high dynamic range you can use bracketing um, so you can capture the darkness and the light and put it all together. Traditionally what people did was they they photo stacked, uh, they took bracketing shots and they picked the best one so um, but now you can you, do, you can still do that but now you've got the benefit of using the computer to uh, put them all together and make a better shot, a better photo. So let's try and do some of that. You just go into the menu system <clears throat> and then you put it on bracketing and then you can choose from here what you want. So you've got auto exposure bracketing. So you go in here and then you can set up how many frames you want with how many stops in between. So for instance two frames and then stop them at 0 0.3 of a stop or one full stop there and then three frames five frames and seven frames with the two frame one you can choose um, whether to go above or below so shooting two picks one will be the normal shot and then you can choose whether to go um, overexposed or underexposed with using this menu here that's it. that's only if you do two shots if you do three and above it's going to do for example this one here, three frames. All right, it's going to do the first shot at normal, and then one shot under, and then one shot over exposed. Uh, always shoot in raw, also, because the whole point of it is to um, stack them later on in the computer, on one on top of each other, and blend it. So the best is to use raw. There's no point using JPEGs. Obviously you want to be on a tripod because you don't want to move it, you don't want to shake it and ideally you want to use a timer. That's taken the first shot. That's taken the second shot. And that's taken the third shot. And you can see here up the top here it goes um, back it goes green when you start doing it and then white when you finish that's one over that's one under and that's normal so for this sunrise let's try some exposure bracketing okay so I've taken five shots with one stop between each shot and I use Aurora HDR it's by Skylum the people who make Luminar 4 uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty easy, you just chuck it in and the computer does it for you. I mean, you don't have to do anything really. It's kind of cheating really, but it, they, the shots turn out awesome. So you can see here, um, there's the main shot, and then that's plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two. And all you got to do is press create. So there you go, it's um, chucked it in there and it's put all five shots together. And now you can muck around with the sliders or you can have a... Uh, in the collections there's a landscape or I'll pick landscape but there's even one in here called um, better sunrises see what that does so there you go there's even, they even they even give you um, things better sunrises that's a bit you can dial it back a bit HDR clarity looks like I've got some gunk on my lens bloody lens is dirty but I can clean that up there's a thing here which is good, which is gradient. So the top bit, I can make that a bit more cooler, just to give it a bit more of the blue sky. You know, increase the vibrance. You know, that's a, that's a bit too much. Bring down the contrast a bit, and on the bottom, increase the highlights. There, yeah, you know, maybe a touch more on the exposure just for the bottom part. Yeah, so you can muck around here and get it to how you how you like. I mean, that's the original shot, just if you didn't have bracketing, and then that's um, made it 
blended all five of those shots together. You can um, even then bring it over into Luminar if you want. HDR is also the editing. You can edit stuff here as well, but in Luminar 4, there's there's more options. I've got to clean my lens. I don't know. I mean, that lens is brand new. It must be just some gunk on there. So get rid of that. So, but then even in here, um, you can, you know, apply effects as well. Analog, you know, all these different looks. You know, blockbuster, looks like the 1970s. You know, dramatic look. So, I mean, look at all these, uh, look at all these spots. So it looks like I've sneezed on the lens. Anyway, so yeah, um, and then once you've done that, you just apply and it goes back to HDR. That's how to get awesome shots. I mean, if I was near the beach or somewhere, that you know the content here is pretty pretty crap. But if you're on the beach, um, that's how you do the sunset shots. You need HDR to to to, to get that kind of range. How it changes its exposure is different on each setting. So in program mode it changes the aperture and the shutter speed in aperture and in manual mode the shutter speed changes and then in shutter priority only the aperture changes if you go into the custom menu and you change the exposure here to say jump up by one stop don't jump up in quarters or halves jump up like if you change it here you'll see that you can only change in, in one stop. The, the, the one third and two thirds aren't there anymore. Like say for instance, I put it on five frames, rather than press it five times and introduce finger shaking, you can use the custom timer here, custom there. If you go into there, you can actually say here, take take five shots, um, have one second between them, and say have two seconds before you take the first shot, and that way, you know, you can let the camera um, self timer take your bracketed shots for you. So, for instance, that, press it once, it waits two seconds, takes the first shot, takes the second shot, third shot. Um, I'll show you this. I found another way to actually take all five shots, you can use the sequential shutter. So you know that one where it's fast shooting? Low sequential shutter speed would be the best one. To get all five shots at once, just hold it down. And it only does five. It'll only do the five bracketed ones, because you've set it up to bracketing, it'll only do five, it won't keep on going. That's one quick way of doing it. ISO bracketing. So what that does, it's going to take three different frames at the base ISO that you've set it at and then one stop under and one stop over the ISO. What it does, it only takes one shot. You don't actually take three shots. So it just replicates that same shot, the same photo three times. I think I read what it's for is more for you want to freeze the motion because it's only going to take that one shot, it's going to freeze the motion and then apply the artificial ISO onto it. 400. Jerry! Look, Jerry. Jerry, go get Spike. Go get him. You ready? So white balance bracketing. Now from what I've been reading about, this is really just good, f f not really for stacking. It's more for just yourself to figure out what's the best white balance. If you just take a series of different white balance shots and then you can choose which one that you like the best or which one suits the mode. The A, B is the amber and the blue and the GM is the green and the magenta. It'll only ever do three frames, but you can change the different steps. So there's two steps in color temperature, 
four steps in color temperature and six steps in color temperature so what it does you only it only takes one shot you don't have to take three shots with that and it just takes the first shot and it changes the jpeg okay so with uh, flash bracketing fl bracketing that just changes once again that one's not really for stacking that's just to change the flash fec flash exposure compensation in bracketed uh, you can only do three frames with this there the flash exposure was plus one minus one and that the first shot was normal so this one art bracketing what that does it just puts all those art filters on the one shot so you only take one shot and then it applies whatever you select here so now if i just take a photo it takes one photo but then it applies all those different features soft focus pale and light light and tone you know all at once <clears throat> it's just a quick way of of applying art filters on the one shot 